The nominee to lead the National Nuclear Security Administration just said something important. We need to rely on the scientific data we have from previous nuclear tests, and we don't need to resume nuclear testing. We have decades of data from past nuclear explosive testing that we can simulate tests now without the mushroom clouds. You know what data we also have? The health consequences of nuclear testing. Testing between 1951 and 1962 resulted in 12 billion curies of radiation being released into the atmosphere. This caused massive health consequences. The NCI estimated that between 11 to 200,000 excess cancer cases were a result of these tests. Other studies estimate that fallout resulted in 63,500 deaths from cancer. In one of the towns closest to the testing site, after one of the dirtiest tests in 1953, residents experienced fatigue, rashes, nausea, diarrhea, burns, hair loss, and a third of the sheep population grazing in the area died. So yeah, let's stick to the science. We don't need to resume nuclear testing. We have the data from the past, and the data from the past shows us that nuclear testing is bad.